Hi, I'm Jesse David Eisenberg with the JDE Law Firm. I'm a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business. Today, I want to talk about what you should or why you should never loan money to friends and family without doing one specific thing. But first, I want to say if you have any questions about what you hear today, you want to talk about your business, or you want to talk about a potential case, all you have to do is go to jdelaw.nyc slash consult. That's jdelaw.nyc slash consult. And you could book a 10 minute phone or 30 minute in person consultation. Now, you should never loan money to friends and family without doing this one thing. And what is that? Get it in writing. I'm going to say it again. Get it in writing. Have a contract, okay? Because this is what happens a lot. All right? Someone walks into my door or calls me up and says, I have loan money to a friend, a family member, you know, and all of a sudden I can't find them. They won't return my calls. They've blocked me. You know, they're telling me they don't have the money, something along those lines. And they're always like, what do I do? So I have to ask them, how much was it for? Let's just say it's $10,000. Okay, do you have proof of that? How much you loan them? No, it was cash. Do you have any texts, emails, anything that can cor corroborate this? No. All right. And the reason I ask these questions are because guess what? If you sue someone and you gave them cash, they're going to say it was a gift. That is going to be their defense. Okay. And if you have nothing backing it up, it's he said, she said, and it's very hard to meet your burden of proof that you loan them money and they haven't paid it back. All right. That's why you need to get a contract. Even if you're loaning a thousand dollars to a friend, Get a simple writing on a napkin. Friend one is loaning friend two a thousand dollars. It'll be paid back by this date. And they both sign it. Something very simple, okay? I don't recommend simple napkin contracts, but the more you put things in writing, the better off you are, all right? No one loans money through friends and family thinking that the person is not good for it, right? You trust your friends, you trust your family, but I'm sure 75% of the time it gets paid back, but it's the 25% of the time that leads to business for me. Okay, because what they do, someone inevitably takes off with the money, or you just never see it again, or they allege, oh, it was a present, it was a gift, and you have nothing to back it up. So always, 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 I cannot stress this enough, when you're loaning money to friends and family, you still need to get it in writing. Make a contract. You'll save yourself a lot of time and headache down the road. So again, if you have any questions about what you heard today, um, you want to discuss a possible case, you want to talk about your business, all you have to do is go to jdelaw.nyc slash consult. That's jdelaw.nyc slash consult. I'm Jesse David Eisenberg with the JDE Law Firm. I'm a business litigation attorney, which means that my business is to protect your business. Thanks for watching and listening.